what is Gypsy Rose's hair saying about her emotional state? When Gypsy Rose got out of prison, she had long, healthy, brown hair. Over time, it's been 10 months since she's been out, a little longer. Over time, her hair has gotten shorter, blonder, and increasingly unhealthier to the point where it is now fried. This is what her hair looked like whenever she was in prison going to trial. This was at Nicholas's trial. It looks very nice, healthy, manageable. This is what it looked like whenever she got out of prison. Again, very long, healthy, manageable, brown. And this is what it looks like now. Let me try to move myself out of the way. Can you see how damaged this hair is? I know she has extensions on in this particular picture, but even in this picture, it does look a little healthier. This was right when she got pregnant, so almost five months ago. Again, her hair looks pretty healthy here. Also looks pretty healthy here. This is where it starts to turn for the worse. And now I'm not sure if you remember when she was talking to Lifetime, telling Lifetime about how Ken was interested in blondes and how she was literally cutting her hair with fingernail clippers while she was in prison to get his attention. So I'm gonna play that clip for you. He is interested in blondes. I'm not blonde, I'm a brunette. So I'd go in the shower, take fingernail clippers and just cut my hair off trying to do everything I can to get his attention again. I would have given anything to that man. I would have bought the sun and the moon and the stars and gave it to him on a platter. And that hurts me that I loved him that much. Why does it hurt you? Listen to this. Because I feel like no one is ever gonna love him as much as I loved him at that That's time. That's abuse. The fact that she says that she feels like no one is going to love him as much as she loves him at that time, that is called emotional manipulation. Just because it's something that she feels does not make it true. I'm sure there are plenty of people that can and would love Ken more than her. She wants him to believe that no one is going to love him as much as she does. And that's how manipulation works. But secondly, how scary is it that she's saying that she was literally cutting her hair with toenail clippers to get his attention? That screams unstable emotionally. That screams disturbing behavior. That screams psychopath. There are a lot of reasons, emotional, psych psychological reasons for people to change their hair. Um, but Gypsy seems to believe that Ken prefers blondes, where I believe Ken has even mentioned that he doesn't have a preference either way, but she has it in her mind that he's Ken and she's like this Barbie, and Barbies obviously have blonde hair. A few reasons why people change their hair is it can help and be a coping mechanism. And this can be a way for people to work through personal changes such as breakup, death in the family, or significant life events. When we know she's pregnant, maybe she's having a hard time dealing with the pregnancy and feels like she needs to control something. So she is trying to control that by controlling and cutting her hair. Um, we know she's not trying to reinvent herself because her hair looks like trash. Um, it could be that she is having a little bit of an identity crisis. In her most recent live, you could tell that she wasn't very happy with the recent changes to her hair. She seemed very annoyed that it wasn't working properly with what she was trying to do and get it to do. Um, it also appeared like she was straightening it and it looked like, I don't know, her hair just looks incredibly damaged. So it could be um, a little bit of an identity crisis or it could be a distraction 
from whatever is going on in her life right now um, because we know that pregnancy is not all glory and while it may sound fun to have a baby it is a quite long and extensive process to actually be pregnant throughout the entire thing and there's a lot of emotional ups and downs that go with it and I don't think that Ken is very supportive of her because she is a hard person to be supportive of. I think that she had different assumptions on what pregnancy life was going to be like and it's not panning out the way that she wanted. Um, and again, this hair crisis is a way for her to control something in her life because it feels like everything else is out of control. I am curious if this was one of the reasons why her head was shaved um, and why she wore hats all the time. We are seeing her bringing back the hats. Um, she's talking a lot more about how her legs are hurting. Um, I would be curious if this is the beginning of the shaved head and bringing back the wheelchair. I have a feeling that Gypsy is the reason why Gypsy's head was shaved. I do not think a mother would just shave her head, shave her child's head for absolutely no reason. I do think that it was a lot to do with, you know, this um, perception, this look of my child is sicker than she is, of course. Um, but I also think that it speaks to Gypsy's psychological and emotional state. Um, and maybe her mother was watching some of these behaviors, these dangerous behaviors of her, you know, cutting her hair with toenail clippers to get attention kind of thing. And maybe that's the reason why they had it shaved. I, I would be surprised if the, the hair doesn't continue to get shorter and I would be surprised if we do not see a return of the wheelchair. I know Gypsy is really trying not to have to use it, but I feel like it's going to come to a point where um, she's not gonna have any choice because the more pregnant you get, the harder it is for you to move around and if she's already experiencing muscle weakness and leg numbing and different things like that, um, it's only going to get worse as her pregnancy continues to go on. Tell me what you think. I am feeling like um, things are getting ready to explode and you can see that by the changes in her hair. She looked incredibly unhappy on the live. It looked like she was searching for some sort of recognition and attention. And I just wanna say another thing too is that in those interviews that she was doing at the beginning of um, the Lifetime press tour, whatever, right when she got out of prison, she looked a little bit more well kept. Um, her hair was done, her makeup was done, and it, this round of press tour, she looks like trash. I mean, I hate to be so mean about it, but she does. Um, she went to that school. It didn't look like she had on an ounce of makeup. Her hair wasn't done. And then the same thing whenever she went on Good Day LA. I mean, she just did not look good. Um, it didn't look like she was taking care of herself in any way, shape, or form. Not to mention that in the last few photos that she's taken while they were in San Francisco, she's wearing the same black leggings and the same white top the entire time she was there, except for whatever date night that they had that evening, but she's wearing the same clothes. She's not taking care of herself. And I think that this speaks to a bigger psychological issue that's going on. And I feel like things are about to erupt. Tell me what you think. I don't know if anybody else has talked about this hair theory, 
but I was thinking about it, I was looking at it, and I wanna know what everyone else thinks because I think your hair says a lot about how you feel about yourself. Tell me what you think.